Hi there, I'm Jennifer Broadley. I'm a human given psychotherapist, supervisor, and also one of the HD College tutor team. Um, and I want to talk to you today about this course, the Couples Therapy Life Chapters course. Um, it is one of three extra courses that we've added on to um, the Couples Therapy Full Day Masterclass, um, just because there's been so much demand for these subjects. So the first of these three extra courses is the Life Chapters course, this one. And we're going to cover three things in that. We're going to cover parenting, we're going to cover menopause, and we're going to talk about retirement. And um, so with parenting, it's this epic two decade joint venture journey, isn't it? Um, but and, and whilst it can be reasonably straightforward for some couples, most couples kind of just, you know, figure things out on their way or muddle through if they need to. Um, actually, we find a lot of the time that a person's emotional needs change and and there's this huge biological pool as well, isn't there, to um, to prioritise the children. And sometimes one other or both parents do that to the detriment of their relationship. And so we're going to talk about um, birth and the birth years, going firstly going to school after that, and then teenage years, and then what happens, independence once those children leave home, and all of how all of those things have this kind of knock-on effect to um, the health of a relationship. Um, and then we're going to talk about menopause. Now, menopause is a huge subject now, isn't it? Um, and quite rightly so. It's a super healthy thing. Um, there are scores of symptoms that can relate to a woman going through menopause, anywhere from her early 40s all the way to post-menopause around mid-50s. Different for everyone. But it's really important as a therapist that when a couple come into you to say, it doesn't make sense, you know, she's totally changed that you can um, pinpoint some of those symptoms and and assess for yourself whether how many of them, if they do, relate to menopause and also to educate around that subject, not just for the woman who's going through it, but for her partner who might need a little or a lot of extra understanding and patience and, um, and, and additional skills. Um, and also sometimes to, to reframe menopause sometimes from this thing that is an illness, which it isn't, <laughs> you know, it's a natural, um, um, transition for all women um, and maybe just to, tr to reframe it a little bit from from what it might be being seen as in the media into this transition into elderhood so we'll talk a little bit about that and then the third subject retirement is normally a celebration isn't it um, and quite rightly so uh, however sometimes and especially now that um, relationships are maybe a little bit more um, we have many more couples maybe on their second or third partnership or marriage. And so retirement can be something that's a little bit more nuanced, um, can't it? So you might have um, one of the couple who is retiring in their 70s, but the other person is maybe even still raising children, but might be in their 50s and still has a decade or 50 more years to work. And whilst the first year of retirement is, you know, a, a, quite a um, a, a, an interesting process for the couple to go through and, and very light and very fun, actually over the next year and the next year and the next five years and the next 10 years, it can um, it can throw up a few challenges that as couples therapists, it's just wise for us to be able to guide a couple gently and kindly through that um, with the emotional needs being met as the foundational um, one of our resources. So if this sounds of interest to you, there'll be plenty of time, by the way, to ask questions um, in this half day uh, if you have cases that um, relate to parenting, menopause or retirement. Um, and also just to discuss generally uh, your couple's therapy practice. Um, if any of this sounds of interest to you, the buttons are um, above, below and beside. So just click on any one of them and sign up and it would be great to see you there. I really look forward to seeing you on the day. Bye for now.